And this is what went up in the overhead, you know, with the light fixtures, a little incandescent, two incandescent bulbs on either side, and then this lens covered it. And, and this is the old style here with a little switch, so that works nicely. But I'm going to go LED. So the plan is to make a uh, new wooden surround, you know, routed out at the back that you can drop the plywood in and then cut the round circles in the plywood. And I'm going to paint the plywood white and this is going to be square. So as you can see, I've got my, my stock here ready to go and this is going to have to be milled and down. The plan is I'm going to use these Intra lights. Um, Intra is the company that I buy all my lighting from and these are nice LED lights and they're a little spring loaded unit. One there and one there, but it'll be a plywood. Okay, so I'm at a point now where I'm cutting all the, the milled wood into my little squares. So obviously I've got to match this. So I've, I've matched it exactly to the same size. There's a little laser beam that this saw projects onto my pencil mark, so that works pretty nicely. So now I'm assembling everything, and um, the, the, the best way to do this is with these little clamps. And so obviously you put the two little blocks, so here are, my, here are the four pieces, and then I got to put these two together but how do you do that and hold it and with only two sets of hands here's a test piece that I did just to make sure it all works so you put it in here clamp it in like this and then here you go and you hit it with a gun um, to make sure that that holds it and then I move around to the next one and then I ripped a couple of pieces of plywood um, on the table saw to get them to the right width so that they would fit and now it's just a matter of chopping them on the chop saw to get them to the right length. Look if they fit. Bingo. So here we go. We're, uh, we're varnishing. And what I'm using is Total Boats Halcyon Clear, which is a water-based water -based varnish. And um, so it's easy to clean. Water, brush, sink, done. Uh, and the other advantage is the stuff dries super quickly. Uh, you can see it's got this sort of milky look to it. Um, I can put it on and hopefully in about an hour, hour and a half it's dry. I can put another coat on. So that goes pretty quickly. I can build it up to four coats, let it dry and put some nice top coat. Uh, maybe a, a dull luster varnish or something like that. Look at that. Kind of a nice finish. I could use a machine for this, but I just prefer to do it by hand. That way I don't grind through that layer of varnish and this way I just scuff it up and it actually works beautifully. Gets it. So now I'm putting the finishing coat of Lust, which is a matte finish. Um, I've got three coats of the undercoat, which I showed earlier. And now I'm going to apply this. I um, I blow everything down with an airline with a pressure, air pressure compressor, get all the dust off. Then I wipe it down with a de-waxer or like a thinner just to get the, the dust and all the fingerprints and all that stuff off. So I'm, I'm cutting the holes now in the plate and that's where the little light will go. I'm just doing a test on this one. So I've done a test here and that sort of fits and I've got a smaller hole saw and um, just want to with a smaller hole saw, I should be able to get a nice perfect fit into the wood here. So what we had originally was an incandescent, two little bulbs on either side, and this then went up into the overhead, and then th this lens went over it. So this is what you had, this sort of plexi frosted look, which was very nice. And, uh, you know, whatever, 25 years ago, this was perfect. But I wanted to go with LED. This is what we started out with, with, with the incandescent lights. And this is what we have now. So a nice 
fixture. I'll switch the light off. Got a good setup here.